plan is to go and acquire. I'm telling you, how can you realistically defend the entire stretch of this rock? Are you military? How many mem how many arms guard do you have? What are you telling me? Huh? Don't justify what's not justifiable. There is a problem. The issue now is how do we solve it? That's what I'm talking about. There is a problem. How do we solve the problem? That's what I need. I need solutions, not justification. Don't make excuses. How do we solve the problem on God? Look at this. You have your cell here. I wait you try it. And once you have your cell here, that is the cell. You said you have another 30 meters. How long will it take you? 30 meters takes less than how many minutes? Less than one minute or two minutes? So is two minutes enough response time? If there's an attack, what are you talking about? There is an issue. We are, government has invested a lot here. We can't throw it away. But what do we need? To do. Let's think. It's not just about building infrastructure, it's about building a conducive and a safe infrastructure. It has to be conducive for the inmates, at the same time it has to be secured to the benefit of the government. You know? I'm worried. If cows can move there, humans can move there. It's a tough one, sir. It's a very tough one. Yeah, of course, we've invested a lot here, so we can't waste it. But it's a very tough one. We have to go back and think on what to do. It's a very, very tough one. And when you look around, too, they're already doing, uh, some people are already breaking the rock. There's a quarry. Just telling you that there's already been yes, yes, So it's another challenge. So it's a very challenging so overall it's very challenging. Actually the quarry is moving away. It's moving up. That's where the female wind is. Huh? That's where the female wind is supposed to be. Female what? Female wind. Of female. Yes, female wind. You gotta put them away. No, this quarry area. Yeah. That's where it's designed to be. So the party, the party is with this observation, I'm going to do it. God will help you We're looking at our correctional centers, as we said. Uh, the name has changed from prisons to correction uh, service. And obviously, it means that there has to be a paradigm shift in ideology from a place of uh, incarceration to a place of transformation, a place of reformation and a place of correction, you know. So we were in Karushi earlier to look at the, um, the work that's going on there with regards to the 3,000 capacity. And of course, uh, we have one or two observations, which of course I would not like to share in front of the camera. But of course, when we get back to the office, we will sit down as uh, the ministry and uh, the NCOS, you know, we'll sit down together, brainstorm, on um, solutions to some of the issues you know that we realized and of course here in kefi we know kefi is, is i mean is highly populated and and and, um, and um, 
the number of inmates here is uh, quite high, you know. We have in Kefi alone, I think, uh, the two correctional centers, Kefi New and Kefi Old, we have over a thousand plus. So that's a huge, uh, it's a huge number, you know, almost a thousand five hundred. You know. So we came to look at it and, uh, and of course, you know, a lot of inmates in, from FCT gets, uh, you know, uh, sent here. So we had to come look and um, of course uh, we saw the perimeter fencing, you know, in the, because we have always said we do not want a repetition of what happened in uh, Suleja. So, and we are, we are really investing and looking at the perimeter fencing of our institutions, you know. And uh, the Kefi New, you can see that uh, just this year, because before, the perimeter fence was just a barbed wire. <laughs> You know, yes, it was just a wire transparent, people can see outside and stuff like that. But today you saw it yourself, that it's been concluded, completed, and of course there is that um, uh, security. And right here, which is the cafe old, you know, and this is from what I was told now, it's a, pre, it's a correctional center that was actually established in 1820. You know, so you know how old and how long we're talking about over a hundred and something years, you know, that it's been um, established. So the, the walls were weak, but today you can see all concrete walls have been fully uh, erected, you know, and uh, we, so at least we are sure now that what happened in Sulejak will not happen in Kefi. So uh, we are not just limiting it here, we are also looking at all other areas where we've done our infrastructural audit. And where government is doing everything possible to make sure that the sort of force majeure, you know, that happened, the effect of force majeure that happened in the, in Suleja does not happen anywhere else. But I have to say this, you know, we have 256 correctional centers. And uh, these 256 correctional centers have been here for more than a uh, hundred and something years, you know. Like when I speak of 1820, you know, this is uh, 2024. So that tells you that this correctional center is arguably over 200 years, you know, old. So President Tinubu did not become president 200 years ago. So obviously we're taking it one at one scene at a time. And uh, we're making progress and uh, we're happy with the progress that we've been able to make. So we've come to look at it. And also you can see what I spoke about urbanization. You know, you can see how, you can see beside, beside, you can see houses, you know, civilian houses, sharing fence, uh, fences with uh, the correctional centre here in Kefi O. So it means that it's not sustainable. We have to think about relocation. We have to look at because of effect of urbanisation. So perhaps we will be putting everything in motion to um, upgrade the facility and to build more facilities in the cafe new you know to be able so that we can now relocate from here and of course convert this to other things you know maybe for maybe as a booster inst booster institution for the younger ones and whatever you can see how small compact this place is and of course this is the emir's palace you know this is like center of town you look at houses all around so there are a lot of things that we're trying to do so in the correctional institution above all we're trying not to make it business as usual we're trying our best that uh, the, the principle of renewed hope you know, has find a place of domiciliation, not just domiciliation, a final place of domiciliation in the correctional centers. And we hope that doing this, solving these issues one after the other, you know, before we know it, we'll be able to cover the 256. But we will not, we can't do it in a day, but a journey of a thousand miles, of even a million miles, starts with a single step. And we hope that uh, in the correctional service, we are, still, we are taking the right step by by investing and and the president and i have to say this very clearly i appreciate the president for his concern because you saw kuje the other day it's been done you saw the, the one in joss will be there very soon the intervention that we've been able to do and in so many centers you can see the perimeter fencing here all concrete that is not cheap that is real investment in national security you saw the uh, fencing in the the cafe new you know so these are things that are happening all over you know all over the country the president is putting um, is really putting everything into play to make sure that we have a sustainable correctional service